and welcome to Emma's ESL English. So yesterday we talked about telling the time. Today we're going to talk about a few different phrases that we use around time. I'm going to start with ish. A little conversation for you all. Hi, shall we meet up for a chat tomorrow? Sure, where shall we meet? I don't know, maybe Starbucks? Sounds good. What time works for you? Um, maybe tennis. Okay, see you there. Later. So, tennis. In English, we use ish, that is I-S-H, to mean around about or approximately. And we can use it for quite a lot of different things. For example, how many people are coming to the party? I'm not sure. Maybe 12-ish? Which could be 10. <laughs> or it could be 15. Logically, this totally doesn't work. How can you have 12-ish people? And yet, <laughs> we still use it. How many chocolate chips do you usually put in? I don't know, like two-ish bags? In this case, two and a bit might work as well. In terms of time, though, we can add ish to many different times. But in general, we tend to most often use it around the bigger quarters. Yesterday we talked about quarter past, half past, quarter two, and of course, one o'clock. So if we were making an appointment, we might say one-ish, we might say 12.15-ish, we might say 3.30-ish, or we might say 4.45-ish. Theoretically, we could say 10.25-ish, but we're probably less likely to, because that's a specific number. It's a very particular number. Remember, though, if you're meeting your friend at 10.30ish, you need to pay attention to which friend you're meeting. If it's the one who's always late, then you're probably going to see them at, like, 11. <laughs> if it's the one who's always on time or early, they'll likely be there before 10.30. 10.30ish is a relaxed way to give a time. But if you're someone who gets anxious about being on time... I'd avoid using it to make appointments and just be specific. Like, I'll see you at half past ten. Okay, let's look at some other phrases that we might hear in English. If we're asking about the time, probably at school you will learn what time is it, which is definitely very common. If you meet someone in the street, they also may ask you, have you got the time? For whatever reason, they forgot their phone or something. They don't know what time it is. So they may ask you, have you got the time? If you're in a different kind of situation, maybe you're running late for something, they might ask you, what time do you have? So when we want to double check the time, maybe you have an appointment at 10.30 and you're running late and there's a deadline and so you want to know what time do you have so that you know, do I have five minutes left or ten minutes left or how much time? If you really don't know what the time is and you want to ask someone, you can ask them what time is it, or you can ask them, have you got the time? If you want somebody to wait for you, you're getting ready for that meeting and you still have to gather a few bits of paper, you might say, just a second or just a minute. Are you ready yet? Just a minute, which means I'll be ready very soon. We also use minutes themselves. So someone might say, are you coming? You say, one minute. It means I'm going to be pretty fast. I've heard people say two minutes. It's kind of individual. Some people say one minute. Some people say two minutes. Some people say one second. Some people say two seconds. So it's really very individual, which you're using. Nobody's saying 10 minutes. No, that's too long. <laughs> but one minute, two minute, two seconds, it all means I'll be there pretty quickly. If you want them to wait... You might say, give me a minute. Can you give me a minute? Can you give me a second? That means I'm going to do it or I'm going to come, but I, I just need a little more time to prepare. I need a little more time to do something. We also, in this case, might use I'll be right there, which doesn't involve any minutes at all, but it means I'm going to be there really quickly. I've just got to finish something. So they might be standing in front of you saying, you coming to this meeting or what? And you say, you go ahead, I'll be right there. It means I'm going to come very soon after. So all of these ones 
I'm meaning there's a short space of time. It really is a minute, no more than five minutes, and you're going to be there. You're going to be ready. If you are not going to be ready, <laughs> if you know that this is going to take you a little bit longer, then you might say, can you give me five minutes? So, can you give me five minutes can be used in two different ways. It either means I'm going to be five minutes late, like you need to run to the bathroom or something. So, they're asking for you to come now and you say, can you give me five minutes? Let's say you have a deadline to get to and you need another half an hour and you might say can you give me another half an hour so it doesn't have to be five minutes but if you're the one who wants to talk to somebody you're the one who wants to have some time some kind of meeting with someone you might knock on the door and say can you give me five minutes it means I only have a small thing to say to you it's a very short time that I need to talk to you but I would like a chance to speak to you and similar to that, have you got a minute? That's very, very common. If you want to go talk to your boss, maybe you just want to give them a quick update about something, then you might knock on the door and say, have you got a minute? Maybe the conversation will last 10 minutes. Maybe it'll last 15 minutes. But have you got a minute is really saying, are you busy right now? Because I want to tell you something that I think is a pretty quick thing to tell you. All right, let's leave it there. If any of this has raised any questions for you, you can email me at emmaslenglish at gmail.com. You can also leave a question in the blog post, which is at emmaslenglish.com. I hope that's useful. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.